incredible in terms of flavor. Yes. I don't know, it's a, it's a tough call. Exactly, but I think there's someone in my mind that is gonna go home. True. Well, let's get them in. Welcome my dish up to the judges. I'm a bit concerned, I guesstimated a lot of things. And I rushed everything, plating up. But if I go home today, I'm gonna be pretty devastated. But yeah, two weeks in, in a row in blacks is, you know, it's, it's really hard, it's difficult. This competition means a lot to me. Um, I want to win, but what I want out of MasterChef more than anything is just to change my life. I want to live my passion, so the more I can learn from you guys, the more I can learn from our guest chefs, the more I can learn from the experience. Um, I want to use that and just have food as my life. Let's find out how you've gone. Thank you. See you later, Troy. It's got a few issues, hasn't it? There's no kind of lightness of touch there, even the little, you know, beetroot croutons and things. There's no kind of volume to anything. It needs the, the crispy bits. Exactly. You know, all the crispy elements that you had on your plate make the difference. Right, let's taste. Kudos for the emu. I think uh, with such a thin fillet, he's actually cooked that quite well. It's got a bit of blush to it, so yeah, yeah, that's positive. But not enough ribery in the tartare, which is a shame. There are some positives on here. I think both purees are really um, quite strong. They're, they're, they're certainly strengths on the dish. But what I'm really missing, I'm missing all those crispy, crunchy elements that are really prominent on your dish mm. uh, are just not here. So not enough jerky, not enough, not enough of the croutons, not enough of the little pretzels, just to kind of reinforce that whole, you know, forest floor, forest fire. So th there's certainly some positives, but whether or not there's enough, that's, a, that's another matter. Well, let's get the final dish in. Yeah, let's do it. In many ways, this has been the hardest cook of my life. I gave it my all. But it's playing on my mind that the beetroot leaf puree is definitely bitter. I'm hoping that that won't be enough to send me home. It seemed to us that you left nothing in the tank today, yeah? I think it was clear to me, particularly in hindsight, after that invention test cook, that I had for a split second lost that focus that I came into this competition with. And I brought in a picture with me today that is a picture of me cooking while I was travelling in Italy. And I brought it in with me because I knew it would remind me of how much I love to cook. Have you got that photo? I do. Can we have a look? Of course. <laughs> Where is it? Uh, it's in Liguria in Italy. My aunt took that picture of me mm. and I, I love that I didn't know that anyone was noticing me because I know when I look at that photo how much pleasure it gives me to cook. You know, Jess, we're all only human, and you're exactly right. That's the, in the simplest of ways, that's the absolute joy of cooking for all of us. Just gotta remember that. And remember how delicious that pizza was. How good was it? Amazing. <laughs> yeah, it's the same. When you eat something, it's the same. It's nothing any different. And that's the only clarity of thought you need. You know what, Jess? Cross your fingers. Thanks, Jess. Thank you.
Shall we toast? I hope she's cooked that meat well. That's pretty good. Really good. That's superb. I think the elements that I love on the plate are all the crispy, crunchy, dry elements. So, you know, the pretzels, the beetroot croutons, particularly are delicious, um, and even the little shards of, of the jerky. I think the beetroot puree is delicious. Absolutely. There's some lovely flavours in that. The flaw for me is the leaf puree, the green puree. If you take the puree by itself, the taste is slightly bitter, and whether she use more stalks, perhaps and that's also affected the colour of the puree, so it doesn't have that bright green. It doesn't quite have the vibrancy, say, of Sam's. That's right. Um, so, credible in terms of flavour. Yes. I don't know, it's a, it's a tough call. Exactly. But I think there's someone in my mind that is going to go home. Gee. Well, let's get them in. Well, that was a pressure test that none of us, and I suspect none of you will ever forget you all put everything into that cook Jose you said it was one of the toughest dishes that, that you've ever made how do you think our amateurs went I think they should all be very proud of what they've achieved I know they put all the emotion in into the cook and uh, that's what we all strive for uh, as chefs what I took particular inspiration from today was the fact that you never gave up no matter what the challenge is and uh, you rose to the occasion, so thank you. So let's get down to business. So, Sam, your emu fillet, your tartare, and all the crispy elements were the best of all three. So, today, You're safe. I thought I had done that. Well done. Thanks. So, Trent, Jess, it came down to the two of you and the dishes that you cooked today. Jess, your emu was prepared and cooked well. But your beetroot leaf puree was bitter and coarse. Trent, you delivered the Australian bush flavours. But there wasn't enough ribery in your tartare. And unfortunately, there just wasn't enough crispy elements on yours. They're essential to the success of this dish. I'm sorry, Trent. That's why you're going home. Really close. Really, really close. Trent, you brought us some memorable moments. You rose to the challenge when it came to Ben Churi here in the MasterChef kitchen. Quan yep. Don with lemon aspen, semi fredo delicious stuff. Well, Trent, I think it's excellent. I think it's beautifully balanced. Well done. Thank you. What are your highlights? What are the things that you're going to remember? The Christy Tanya pressure test was huge. So many techniques. Um, I found so much about myself. Wow. <laughs> Today, that, that dish was beautiful. It was such a pleasure to make. And making so many new lifelong friends, that's the biggest part for me. Um... <laughs> Just sorry. <laughs> and that's really what's so wonderful about this 
competition about MasterChef. It brings so many people together and we've seen it in the past. You know, you become serious family. Yeah, it's huge. Trent, I'm sorry, but now it's time to say goodbye. Thanks, guys. I'm walking out with my head held high. I've never seen a dish like that, let alone think I'd ever cook or make anything like that. Ah. I'm absolutely proud of it. Ah, doesn't matter. But most importantly, I made 23 lifelong new friends.